are in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and it's a rainy Saturday, Saturday morning. I'm going to train with Greg Jackson. The guy knows his stuff, and he's a great MMA coach. I'm fighting Brandon Touch, who's a good fighter, he's a good stand-up guy, he's a good MMA fighter. And, you know, I'm always about challenges. And this guy is a good, good fighter, good challenge for me, and I'm looking forward to fight him. I'm not here to make money off of the sport. It's not gonna happen. A lot of people go do it. I'm just here to make a name for the Afghans. Show them the fighting spirit of an Afghan. So what it's going to look like is three very fast steps, and we're going to start going this way. Training here in Albuquerque is great. Um, every time I train with, uh, with, with, with coaches here, I learn new things, which makes my MMA game better, especially uh, Greg Jackson. He's such a bright, bright person. He knows the game of MMA better than anyone I've ever talked to or anyone I've ever seen. Sometimes um, you don't need people to carry you through some places, some doors. They just have to point you the door and you'll walk through it yourself. And Greg Jackson is that guy. The blast double, we're gonna do three steps. The first step is penetration. The second step is setup. And the third step is completion. Oh, oh. Yes. That's it right there, guys. Yeah. Good. This guy is good. This is unpredictable. Boom, boom, there you go. Jab elbow, he's looking at this left bang. Hits him straight up, there you go. Thank you very much. Man. I'm sorry appreciate if I get you sick, brother. Man, are you kidding? I appreciate you coming You're all the way down the train. Thank you very much. We'll do man. another one this week. Yes. Just make sure you get lots of practice. Sure. Now I'm going to go home and sleep for the rest of the day. I oh, no, I got to take. Oh. Anything for you, brother. I have to take uh, Andre and Kyle running, but I don't think I'm going to run. I'm going to yell out. <laughs> go run. Lots of shadow boxing. Don't forget rhythm, angles, integrate takedown, striking, everything together. Greg was sick today, and despite being sick, he came in to do our private. I really appreciate it. These are little things. He could have called me and said, no, I cannot come. I'm sick, and he has all the reason to do it. But he took his time. Even though he was sick, he came in, and uh, he came in earlier than I came. I'm always on time, almost, but he came in earlier. And he was here for me. And these are the little things that, uh, that I'll never forget. Even though I'm... I'm not at the position that other other great fighters here are, like John Jones and uh, Holly Holm, but he shows that he's here for me too. And that's what makes him different in my eyes, and that's what I appreciate. After my last loss in MGM Grand in Las Vegas, before the fight, three weeks out, I, I was injured both shoulders. But I didn't want to cancel the fight because a lot of Afghans had got tickets from all over the US and Canada to come watch my fight. Unfortunately, lost the decision. When I went back home, back to Holland, I had a tough time with my shoulders. I didn't sleep for like two, three months. Every night, the, the shoulders were hurting, and I neglected it. I thought it's just, you know, nothing serious. It'll, it'll, I'll get over it. But then uh, I went to the doctor one day, and I said, this is really bothering me. What's going on? He had me do an MRI, and my shoulders were completely destroyed. So he scheduled me for surgery. We did both shoulders. Ever since my operations, I trained every day twice. And there were days that there, I couldn't see any improvement. There were weeks that I couldn't see any improvement, but it never broke my will. Even though I was in the like, darkest period of my career, in the darkest period of my life, there was no light to be excited about. Every second that I thought was going to happen, I saw the light in the, at the end of the tunnel. I just saw the light at the end of the tunnel. It was a very long process. It took a lot of hard work and discipline to get my shoulders stronger than they were actually. Right now my shoulders are stronger than they were. And I believe everything happens for a reason. Maybe my burden on my shoulders were too heavy for my shoulders back then. So I had to get my shoulders destroyed and rebuild it stronger. This is what I believe happened. And I'm destined for, for something. 
I know, I just know it. Nothing is stopping me. My belief is not scratched. You, you cook as a man. You cook as a man in your darkest days, and you beat your darkest days. You take the hardest shot life can ever give you to the face, and you come back, and you're better than before. You gotta be destined for something great. And that's what I'm taking to the ring this time. When I fight, I'll be a totally different person, mentally, physically, spiritually, everything.